guys, I hope you're having an awesome day. Thanks so much for tuning into this video. I am sharing a haul from The Bathing Garden today. I did already unbox some of these, but I have not unwrapped, as you can tell, some of these clamshells that I have here and my sampler bag, which is incredible that there's a whole bag filled with samplers. And um, I also did get some fun shapes over here. So what I'm going to do is just go through everything one at a time and you will actually get to hear my first sniff impressions of all of these scents. This um, particular haul that I have here was purchased with everything, I believe, from their circus collection. I don't think that I picked up anything that wasn't a part of that collection. So their circus collection is currently available right now on their website, which I will link in the bio below as well as a St. Patrick's Day kind of collection. I'm not sure if it's quite as large as the circus one. And I think that they still have some of their Valentine's Day um, collection items up for sale as well. So let me just jump right into that. Uh, first things first, actually, that I wanted to show you guys is that my package came boxed, or the box came packaged, I don't know, however you wanna word that with this sticker here, which is just like a little flower sticker. I thought it was really cute, so I actually just ripped this off. I can't reuse it because it was like stuck onto it, but I thought it'd be cute and I wanted to show you that. Even the outside of the box was beautifully decorated. And if you guys have purchased from them before, you know that their wax is so gorgeous. Like it's obviously a lot of work goes into each like clamshell, each shape, everything has a beautiful design and color and sparkles and it's just beautiful beautiful wax so um i thought it was nice that even the outside of the box was gorgeous so this is a sugar scrub in the scent clowning around and i did want to pick up one of their sugar scrubs i've actually never tried any of them before but um leanne southern comfort here on youtube she has tried this one and i i can't i think as if i can remember properly she did like this one um, I do remember her picking it up and thinking that it was gorgeous. So I wanted to pick this one up for myself and let's see if I can read the notes on it. So underneath the words clowning around, it looks like those are just the ingredients on it. And I don't know if the notes are here. Coconut oil, sugar scrub, it says. And then this is pretty cute too. It says admit one, if you can see that kind of like a little circus ticket. And the sticker that I stuck on top of this that says circus of dreams this is actually what sealed all of the products that i got together in a bubble wrap envelope but i just stuck it on top of this because i thought it was a cool sticker i really like the aesthetic of this company oh my gosh that smells so good <laughs> i like just took it off and that smells incredible oh my goodness gracious so if i'm remembering properly i did pick up a clamshell in this scent as well so if we get to that i will try to um, let you guys know the scent notes exactly but to my nose this smells like a like caramel apple definitely like cotton candy i'm picking up cotton candy caramel it definitely smells like very much like circus treat this is awesome i'm really excited to try this one out i think it will be incredible they included this massive bag just of samples these are all samples which is really generous of them and really appreciated oh my gosh that is so pretty so this is a little bunny shape here with like a multicolor look going on and this is in the scent marshmallow frosted mango tangerine and i absolutely love like this little design here that they do on their wax labels i think that's really cute and i like the brown labels too i think that they're fun so Oh, this is so good. I am a huge fan of mango and wax. Sometimes orange or like tangerine and citrusy scents, they aren't always like my 100% favorite, but this blended with that mango is so good. Mm. I'm not picking up on a ton of the marshmallow just based on this cold sniff, but of course we all know that things change when melting, but to my nose, this is a very bright, citrusy slightly tropical it almost reminds me of like tropicana orange juice slightly very mouth-watering really nice so that is a sample i'm very excited about moving on to the next sample this is in berry gummy bear and this has got like a really cute little floral design and this is in the shape of a star so let me give this one a little sniff 
and we'll see. Oh yeah, so this smells exactly like gummy bears. So um, I, I'm not sure if this is like, I'm not sure what flavor I guess gummy bear this would be, but it definitely smells like you're sticking your nose in a bag of gummy bears. Kind of reminds me of, if I had to pick like a color, it'd be like the pineapple or like the clear gummy bears. It kind of reminds me of that one specifically, but it's just like a nice general fruity, very candied type scent. Moving on, we have green and sassy with a cute little girl down there. Little looks like a doll almost. And this is in like a little green bunt kind of design. Let me give this one a sniff. Oh, wow. Okay. So, hmm. What, what am I smelling? Um, it's definitely minty. I'm not sure what mint specifically I'm picking up on. I'm not sure if it's like a spearmint or a peppermint. Um, but man, that is very sinus clearing, very bright. Um, definitely there's something kind of, I guess, I, not to just repeat the name, but kind of green smelling in this. I'm very curious, definitely very zesty. I think that there's lime. So maybe like a lime and mint type of scent or something. It's very bright, um, really interesting. Ooh. Okay, so this next one that we have here is in Dust Bunnies. Oh, that's cute with a little bunny down there. Love that. And the shape is a brown bunny with a ton of gorgeous glitter. Like that is so, so pretty. And I am curious what this will smell like because you know the name. <laughs> oh, that is really nice. So this is definitely a coffee scent with, I don't know if I'm picking up on like a hazelnut note. It's definitely like a creamier coffee. I think that there's some kind of like a hazelnut in this, honestly. And this is, I just had to take this out because look how pretty. That is a glitter bomb bunny. She's so cute. I definitely think if I had to give a label without knowing the notes, I think it, it's kind of reminding me of like a hazelnut coffee. So really nice. Definitely more of a creamy scent, not like an espresso. I think that there's definitely got to be some kind of a cream note going on in there. This next one that we have here is gorgeous. I like this kind of, I don't, it reminds me of like a baby, baby rattle a little bit, um, but it's really cute. And this is in the scent Salted Caramel Popcorn, which I love popcorn scents and wax. Um, I think that they're really unique and fun, especially in like August and September. Wow, that smells just like buttered popcorn. Whoa, like very authentic. I am not picking up on a ton of caramel, if any really in this, um, but it is movie theater buttered popcorn. So really, really interesting. It always blows my mind how scents like that can translate into wax. Like it just seems like almost impossible that that happens, but it does and it's always interesting. Okay, so this next one here is Spring Fling, and this has like a really cool little, I guess it's like hanging lanterns on a tree branch kind of design. Ooh, okay, so this one is very bright, very clean, and very fresh smelling. To my nose, I'm picking up on slight, maybe slight lemon, and maybe like a, like a lemon verbena, I'm not sure, like maybe kind of a little, little hint of, mint maybe somewhere in there, but it's really nice. Definitely a very fresh, um, just clean the house type of scent. So this one is really lovely. And these samples are just so generous. I really can't get over how nice this is. Okay, and this looks like, this is a body care item. So this is in the Contortionist. And this is a scrub and soap, what does it say? Scrub and soap parfait. And I'm not sure, it doesn't have the notes on here, but let me pull it out of this bag so you guys can see. Okay, so this is what, sorry, I'm bumping you guys. I'm not trying to. This is what it looks like. It came in this like little tiny jar here. And, ooh, ooh, so this is interesting. So it's a scrub and soap parfait. So it literally is like a little parfait. It's got like the layers of, I'm guessing the soap is on the top 
And then I'm assuming once you dig a little bit deeper then this part, the green part, is the scrub. Kind of looks like that based on what I can see. And this just really smells just clean. It doesn't smell like, like laundry clean or anything. It just smells like a nice, mild, not like scent overpowering like scent, I guess. It's just kind of like a nice, kind of like a calming, slightly, slightly kind of like a soap. I guess it kind of just reminds me of like a soapy soap, um, but it's nice. And this is something that I will be really excited to try out just because that's such a unique um, idea. I've never seen that done in any other like vendor, soap vendor kind of thing with a scrub and a soap. That is so interesting. Okay, so those were all of my samples, which already right there, I mean like that is just so generous and really appreciated. So before I go on to these really beautiful shapes, I will unwrap these clamshells because as we all know, her clamshells are just gorgeous. I love the wrapping paper colors as well. So, okay, first things here, this is clowning around. So this is the scent that I did pick up in the sugar scrub. Okay, so the notes on clowning around are smells of salty and sweet popcorn, toffee dipped apples, and seven layer cake with blue cotton candy. Okay, so I popped this out for you guys to see because I really think that this wax needs to be like viewed from every angle. It's so, so pretty. Um, so based on just cold sniff, I really pick up on the cotton candy like first off. Like that's the thing that's hitting my nose. Mixed with the toffee, I guess I thought it was like a caramel apple, but it's a toffee dipped apple. I do get a slight hint of the like salty popcorn vibe, but I would say like the toffee and the blue cotton candy are what stand out to me the first, like right initially by sniffing it. Okay, so the next one that we have here is a clamshell and twirling trapeze. And notes for this say, smells of blue cotton candy, sparkling strawberry soda pop, and, ra and raspberry blueberry ribbon candy. Um, so let me open this clamshell up so you guys can see it. I guess I was in a cotton candy mood. I mean, definitely when you think circus, you think cotton candy. So that makes perfect sense. But look how gorgeous. It is a raspberry, like blue raspberry cotton candy. Very sweet. I do pick up on that strawberry soda pop scent, which I am like really obsessed with that. It's so nice. It is a mouth watering. It it's like a very sweet sugar, sugar, sugary, sweet candied raspberry, um, strawberry, like kind of a, not, I wouldn't even say blueberry is like the strong, one of the stronger things, but like a blue raspberry and strawberry type of candied scent. So nice, really love this. And once again, really cute kind of photo here with the, the trapeze girl, like doing a split it looks like. Okay, the next one that we have here is in Popat's Coaster Ride. And I looked up the um, notes for this, but I couldn't find it on the website. So, so it is absolutely gorgeous with kind of a um, blended, almost looks like strawberries and cream, like one of the hard candy, strawberry and cream candies. And it's got like some stars and some beautiful glitter on it. Based on Cold Sniff, this is a tart kind of lemony, it's pulling a little bit fresh, but there's definitely a, mm, maybe is it like a strawberry lemon or it's definitely like, it's gotta have some kind of a buried lemon note in it. I think it's a raspberry lemon or a strawberry lemon. I can't pick up on which, but to my nose, this is very lemon forward. So this is going to be something that I will probably enjoy like more this time of year in the spring while I clean. You guys, I say that over and over. Like I'm constantly saying, I clean with lemon scents, which I do. That's like, if I'm melting something lemon or burning something lemon, most likely I just cleaned something or washed windows or, you know. For the next clamshell, I have candied caramel pears. And I don't even think I have to read the description on this because this is probably just what it, exactly what it reads. Let me open this up. It has cute little picture of pears on the label with a brown like over poured wax with some bubble kind of sprinkle looking glitter. It's not glitter. It's like little 
it reminds me of like sprinkles um and a little bow down there but the bottom layer which the overpour of brown it's a green wax almost like a mint green let me see if i can there we go it is so pretty oh this is so good so 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 good i really love pear scents and to my nose this really just smells like the most delicious like pear flambe honestly because you really pick up on a rich heavy dark rich caramel i already said rich but it's like a deep dark heavy caramel and i don't know if it really smells like like a candied pear but i guess i guess if you're dipping a pear a juicy pear into you know caramel that's that's what this smells like it's definitely a juicy pear dessert type of scent i really enjoy that and then my last claim shell I picked up is in the fortune teller. Okay, so the notes for this are cola drenched funnel cake topped with butterscotch cream soda. The funnel cake and the cola, I feel like are both kind of notes that stand out from like a blend if it's thrown into it. But this, because they're paired together, it's almost like a perfect split balance of both. I'm interested in seeing how that will play out when actually melting but I think it will be really nice. This one, however, because it is a little bit lighter than the rest, I think I will need to cure this one um, definitely the longest before I, I melt, if I melt any of them, I think this one will have to wait a little bit. But this is just such a beautiful clamshell too. It's got a blue wax on the bottom and like a kind of a light baby blue. And then the glitter on top almost has like a blue iridescent kind of color to it, or I guess, it is kind of just blue glitter. It is really, really beautiful. Like no, no amount of photos or pictures will ever really show you how gorgeous the Bathing Gardens wax is unless you just personally buy it for yourself. It is just so, so pretty. Okay, so I have this opened up and the first thing I'm going to pull out are these gorgeous donuts here. So these are so cute. Cute. Oh my gosh. They, oh, they actually look like little donuts. Look at that. I'm definitely going to pull one of these out for you guys to see up close, but let me tell you the name. So this is raspberry donuts and I'm, you know, pretty sure you can just guess what it smells like based on that name alone. So I won't look up scent notes for this. So I took out the, one of the donuts and I love that it looks like an actual raspberry glazed donut like that is so pretty i mean minus a glitter of course but you can't eat glitter but that looks like an actual donut like the colors and everything are just perfect and i love the like dripping effect down the side mm. and this smells incredible this really does smell like a rich raspberry filling like it doesn't smell like okay so in my experience, I've had a lot of raspberry vendor wax, raspberry scents that come across almost floral. This is not, this is a berry forward raspberry. So just how I like it. And it's really a rich, like sugary sweet raspberry, not candied, it's definitely fruity, but it, it's like almost like the tartness that you get from a real raspberry, but it's sweet. It's a very like mouth puckering kind of raspberry. And I do pick up on a little bit of the donut, like the bakery side, but I would say the most predominant thing is that raspberry. The next one that I'm pulling out is in this gorgeous caramel apple here. And this is in the scent Boardwalk Candy Apple. This actually looks just like a hand dipped candied apple. So this is absolutely gorgeous. And let me do a little sniff of the bag here. Mm. Okay, so this one is definitely more on the candied side. Okay, so the notes on Boardwalk Candy Apple are smells of crisp green apple dipped in fudgy vanilla marshmallow. It almost smells like floral. Maybe it's that green apple. It, it's definitely sweet, but something about it is coming across, I don't know, more floral to me. I'm not really sure what that is. Um, but this one is really nice nonetheless. This one here is in Vintage Circus. So notes on Vintage Circus are smells of crisp candied apples dipped in blue cotton candy. So let me give this one a sniff. 
Mmm, this one is so good. I definitely can pick up on that blue cotton candy and I really love that. So this one is really, really nice. And then finally, the last one that I have here is in vanilla dumpling, which is another apple shape. This one is a green apple dipped in blue wax with a ton of gorgeous glitter on there, if you can see that. How absolutely beautiful is that? So, so pretty. So the notes for apple, or sorry, the notes for vanilla dumpling are smells of baked apple dumplings dipped in rich vanilla fudge. And this one is really strong and I can definitely pick up on that vanilla fudge scent. It is really decadent and rich and it smells so, so good. Um, the apple dumpling scent also I'm guessing is what's adding to that almost slightly bakery scent that I'm picking up from this. It's really, really nice. So I am so impressed with all of these scents that I got from the bathing gardens. And if you guys have not yet picked up any of their circus collection items, then I highly suggest it. I might actually go back in for more because I am so impressed with everything I picked up from here. Okay, so change of plans. I went back online and I decided that I could not live with just one clamshell of a certain scent. So I ordered a bigger size and then indulged in a few more things that I wanted. So <laughs> um, this is going to be a entirely different haul than the first part that you just saw. But of course it's, it's from the Bathing Gardens and their shipping was incredibly fast. I got this package in three days. So now I'll just share the second part of the haul with you guys and um, show you the scents that are repeats and I will also show you three new scents that I picked up in clamshells. I don't have access to their website right now. It is currently, um, I just checked, it is currently shut down. It says online that we will be open with an early spring collection on Monday afternoon, March 15th, which is today. We will send out a newsletter when the site is ready to go and then it says email them with questions and thank you for your patience. So there is a spring collection launching today, which is really exciting. So maybe I should have held out for that. I don't know. I need to avert my eyes because I've been hauling a lot of wax lately. So um, just as in the last package, there was a really cute sticker with a flower on it and there was one in this package as well or on this package as well. So I peeled that off so you guys can see. I just think it's a really cute detail. And I did receive four samples. So let me show you the samples I got in this package really quickly. This is Dust Bunnies. I received a green apple scent. There we go. And I love that little label. Let's see. It, oh my gosh, it's broken, but that's so cute. It's a little clover. That is adorable. I am definitely, definitely going to melt that on St. Patrick's Day. That's perfect. Um, I also received two more samples. This one here is in Marshmallow Peep Cookies, which that's like a really cute little cookie on there. And this bunny is sparkly. Spring Fling, which I did receive this one in another sample. And the bunny on this is a yellow bunny with a ton of glitter. Okay, so let me jump into the clamshells that I ended up picking up um, a second time because I was so impressed with them. I have this candied caramel pears. I also picked up a backup of clowning around. I debated picking this one up in a larger size like I did with this one over here. However, I just decided that I have a lot of scents that are in the same kind of family as this one. This really does remind me of like Bath and Body Works Summer Boardwalk. Um, and there's also a lot of um, circus treat kind of vendor wax, you know, other different vendor wax brands out there. So I did want to pick up another clamshell of this, but I wanted to save the biggest size that I got extras of um, for a scent that I just think is so unique and so delicious and I am obsessed. So let me show you that one. This is in Twirling Trapeze. And it came beautifully packaged. This is just like the most delicious, most like, ah, uh, like mouthwatering strawberry scent ever. Oh, it's so good. It's, it's gorgeous. So let me see if I can show you how beautiful that is. I 
feel like this isn't like doing it justice. Like this is so beautiful. Oh, so pretty. Um, and it, it is like kind of layered as well. I'm not sure if I'll be able to pop that out. So it's got like kind of a darker pink and a yellow and then like a light pink on the top of that. And this is quite a hefty size. I can't remember how many ounces this is. Um, but yeah, I wanted to give myself a lot more of the scent because I feel like this is something I'm going to fall in love with. Of course, like I said, I have, have not melted this yet, but I have really high hopes. Um, and even if this one is like a light performer, this is something that I can see going like perfectly in my bedroom, like just like a very sweet, girly, kind of feminine, soft, there's no floral, but like the strawberry is such like a, a sweet strawberry, like a girly strawberry. I don't know how else to like describe that. And then after I placed that first order, I went on the um, Bathing Gardens Facebook fan group, um, fan club page, whatever you want to call it, fan group page, fan club page. Um, and I saw a lot of people talking about these particular scents or especially this top one here and this is in circus bread which i think that that picture is cute with like the little looks like cake almost yeah it definitely looks like cake with like flowers and butterflies on it and this clamshell like they all are but this clamshell is such a fun one it really is like very much circus vibes so I believe that the notes online for this one were like maybe like a fluffy white cake with like a fruit cake, I think. It was like a fruit cake with like strawberries, raspberries maybe or something like that. Oh, wow. Okay. It said online very yeasty. I remember that being a thing. And typically I'm not a big fan of like yeastiness in my wax, um, but I don't mind this. And I think that I can pick up on a lot of the kind of berry scents instead of like the just yeastiness of the bread. Don't get me wrong, like it's definitely there, but there's something about this that smells like very much like a freshly baked bread with like, I don't wanna say strawberry jam, it's or like a raspberry jam, but there's like raspberries and strawberries in like a chopped up fresh fruit salad, like off to the side and the, the scents are kind of like mingling. Um, yeah, it's really interesting. I like this one a lot. So I'm happy to have picked that one up because it had such a nice hype on it. Another one that I picked up that is new to me is Candy Carousel and I love this blue wax, this baby blue wax. Oh, so pretty. Oh my gosh. Huh. It's definitely sugary sweet, but there's like a little bit of a bite to it. I don't know if there's like a, like a deeper kind of berry, like a, like a plum or like a blackberry in this, but that's what I'm picking up on. And this one is really, really good. Finally, the last one here is Victorian Carousel. And that's got a gorgeous little horse on it. And I love that little flower down there. This is in purple wax with a pretty blue heart. That is so cute. Two little purple daisies at each corner. The bottom of this wax is blue. I guess I didn't show you. The bottom of this wax is also blue too, by the way. Um, and then this one is like a lighter pink underneath, just so, you, just so you guys can see that. And mm, this one is interesting. This one reminds me of like a, it kind of reminds me of like a blackberry, like a freshly, I definitely think there's blackberry in this one as well. Is this like a blackberry lemon scent? Um, I really do enjoy this one as well. All of these that I picked up that are new to me, I would say are winners big time. And I am really, really happy to um, have had more or to have more of this twirling trapeze. I'm not sure if this is going to still be on the website once it goes live once again, but if it is and you like really sweet, feminine type of strawberry scents, I guess, um, then I would say pick this up. The strawberry soda, no, I believe is like the strongest thing that I'm smelling in this, but I think I love strawberry soda. I think I'm realizing that strawberry soda is like my, my jam because it's so, so good. Um, so that is actually officially it, unless I end this video and then place another order for the spring stuff but i will end this so this was my entire haul of the bathing gardens um carnival i think it was called carnival collection i 
think that there's definitely things left that will probably go back on the website. So definitely check them out. I really recommend it. I am so excited to crack into some of these beautiful clamshells and give you guys my post melting reviews of these. Already super impressed by the cold sniffs and everything. So I hope you guys have an incredible day and I hope you are all staying safe, happy, and healthy. Take care. Bye guys.